Let's talk about watchOS. Apple Watch continues to be the most loved watch in the world. In watchOS 9, you can stay connected to what matters to you most just by glancing at your wrist, whether you use the popular Photos watch face or a face with rich complications. And we're adding four new watch faces for you to choose from. The astronomy face has been remastered to take advantage of the expansive display and shows current cloud coverage around the world. The lunar calendar is used to observe traditional holidays and special events in many cultures. The lunar watch face celebrates this thousand-year-old practice with support for Chinese, Islamic, and Hebrew calendars. Playtime, designed by artist Joy Fulton, features whimsical animated numbers. You can tap the display to send them bouncing around, and when you lower your wrist, they take a nap. Finally, Metropolitan highlights watch typography with a new font that dynamically stretches when you rotate the digital crown and features many lovely color combinations. WatchOS 9 also introduces a refreshed Siri UI and new banner notifications. And active apps will be pinned to the top of the dock for quick access. The podcast app allows you to discover and follow new podcasts using search and listen now. And the app is now available to kids using family setup. Sharing content and selected images from apps like Outcast and WeChat is easier with the new ShareSheet and Photos Picker APIs. And with CallKit, you can start and or mute VoIP calls from apps like WebEx directly on Apple Watch. So in WatchOS 9, we're bringing you easy to use metrics, views and training experiences inspired by high performing athletes. Starting with running. Measuring these from the wrist isn't easy. Take vertical oscillation, for example, which is a measure of how much you move up and down. If it's too high, your energy might be wasted going up versus propelling you forward. In order to capture this from the wrist, we need to extrapolate your torso movement from the distinctive style of your arm swing. We use machine learning and sensor fusion, a combination of accelerometer and gyroscope to isolate your torso movement and then measure how much vertical oscillation is produced. We use a similar approach to measure the two other running form metrics, stride length and ground contact time. Scroll the digital crown to see new views for familiar metrics like segments, splits and elevation. And we're introducing heart rate zones so you can quickly see what zone you're in and get a sense of your intensity level at any point during your workout. And there's also a new custom workout that you can use to add structure into your run. For example, if you are trying to improve your speed or endurance, you can create a workout using distance and time intervals that include sets of work and recovery, which you can repeat as needed. You can also add one of the new alerts to a specific part of your workout, like one to monitor which heart rate zone you want to train in to help keep you on track. During your run, these alerts will guide you with both haptics and voice feedback, letting you know when to switch between work and recovery and when to pick up the pace if your heart rate falls below the target zone that you set. During your run, you can use the digital crown for additional workout views, like this new power metric. Running with a power target can help you go the distance by keeping your effort in a range that you can reasonably sustain. You can even see how this workout is contributing to your activity rings. And if it's a route you do often, it will be automatically saved in the workout app for you to race against your last or best time. That way you can see if all the training you are doing is paying off. And for our triathletes, there's a new multi-sport workout type that uses sensor fusion to detect when you finish one leg of your race and are transitioning to the next. So it can automatically switch between swimming, cycling and running. So in iOS 16, the fitness app will be available to all iPhone users. Using the iPhone motion sensors, you can track steps, distance, flights climb, and workouts from your favorite apps, which can be converted to an estimation of your active calories to contribute to your daily move goal. You'll also be able to share your move ring with friends and receive coaching tips. In watchOS 9, you'll be able to learn more about your sleep with sleep stages. You can see how much time you spent in each stage as well as when you might have woken up. You'll see more details in the Health app.
where you'll learn that each sleep stage, REM, core, and deep, perform an essential function. Apple Heart and Movement Study participants will now be able to contribute sleep stage data through the research app. WatchOS 9 can now track the amount of time your heart shows signs of this rhythm with AFib history. And in the Health app, you can manage lifestyle factors that may influence the amount of time you spend in AFib, like exercise, sleep, and weight. AFib history even helps you identify the time of day or week when your AFib is most frequent. You can also share a PDF with your doctor to facilitate richer conversations. So in WatchOS 9, the Medications app makes it easy for you to discreetly and conveniently track your medications, vitamins, and supplements anytime. You can log medications that you might take occasionally, like Cetirazine, for allergies. And you can receive notifications for medications that you need to take regularly. So you can just use your iPhone camera to scan the label of your medication. You can create a schedule to receive reminders and add custom visuals to make it easy to remember. You'll receive an alert when you add a new medication if there is a critical interaction. You'll be able to review critical, serious, and moderate interactions, as well as interaction factors like alcohol. Medications also works with health sharing, which is updated in iOS 16. You can now send a family member an invitation to share their health data with you. Health data is encrypted on device and is not shared without your explicit permission. You'll also now be periodically reminded of what health data you're sharing and who you're sharing it with. There's so much more in watchOS 9, including support for six new keyboard languages, a new way for developers to connect their watchOS apps to Apple TV, and with family setup, kids can now control home devices right from their wrist.